All right, Tony, thanks. Well, pastor from southern West Virginia is dead after being bitten by a rattlesnake. Yeah, this was not some random accident out in the woods. Reverend Mac Wolford was a snake handler and regularly used serpents as part of his sermon. News Channel 3's Bill Murray has more on this story that's getting some national attention today. That it is, Tim. You know, snake handling is legal in West Virginia. We hear from time to time of the practice in some Pentecostal churches. It's a controversial practice, and Reverend Wolford's strong religious beliefs are the subject of an upcoming documentary. The film is entitled With Signs Follow. Now, Reverend Wolford's practice of snake handling literally pulled out of scripture. The book of Mark, chapter 16, and they that shall take up serpents, if they drink and lead deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But this filmmaker says to label the Reverend as just a snake handler does them an injustice. There are services I went to where that didn't occur at all, so. It's, it's become a main focus because it's the most sensationalist and extreme part of his belief, but it doesn't really handle, you know, the fact that they spend hours playing music and praying for people in their community, and there's a whole other element that's kind of ignored. You know, Kate Fowler says she's guilty. That's the aspect of the ministry that drew her and her partner to make the film. But in the months of documentation, it was just a small part of his ministry. But it is a ministry that's rooted in tradition as well. The Reverend saw his own father die of a snake bite when he was a teenager. If you'd like more information about the upcoming film, you will find a direct link over on our website at WSAZ.com. All right, Bill, thanks very much. And Reverend Rolford was not immune to snake bites either. He had actually been bitten by a rattlesnake three different times prior and survived.